Hello, it's Kei, and I'm an individual forex trader based in Tokyo, Japan. And welcome back to my other video. In this part 3 of Price Action Trader Strategy Series, I'll be talking and explaining about how to trade with accuracy in pin bars. You know, on my previous video, pin bar is where you can expect a trend reverse. Like for example, when you see pin bar while the market is on uptrend, that indicates the market reverse to the downside and you can trade contrarian. However, there are pin bars that are profitable and those are not profitable. So in this video, I will dig into the different type of pin bars in multiple time frame charts so that you know which pin bar to trade exactly when you see that price action next time. So if you like this video already, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notification for my future videos on this price action series. So let's get started right now. So if you watched the previous video on part 2, if you can recall, pin bar can be a signal for a trend reverse. Now take a look at this chart. This is the pound yen in daily time frame and if you look at these places, you see two pin bars pointing downwards. But there's one thing I didn't talk about on the previous video. And the hint is, the screenshot is taken after it took some time. I mean. You see these pin bars now and you also see that after these pin bars, the market went to the upside. But once again, this screenshot is taken after the market is gone to the upside. I mean, it's just like being wise after the event, right? But the point is, whether you can be confident enough to place buy here while looking at a chart real time is the most important thing because we are all here not to look at the past charts, right? But we are all here to make money from the market. Now, there's a technique to identify which pin bar to trade or not, and that's something I'll be talking about today on this video. So, to get to the point, how you know whether to trade or not on these pin bars is by looking at some lower time frames. In fact, look at on this second pin bar on the right, and if you take a magnifying glass and take a look at it closer on one hour chart, it's gonna look like this. So, what do you see now? Between these vertical lines, it shows a day. So the pin bar you looked at earlier in daily was actually this part right here with the magnifying glass. Now give yourself a couple of seconds and take a look at this chart pattern. And when you do, try to remember what you learned on my second lecture on this price action video series and look for the inside bar, right? On this day, there's a clear inside bar. Yeah, it's right here, you see? For those who haven't watched the video yet, I will put the link on the uh, right upper corner or and also on the description below. So make sure you watch the video and come back to this video. But inside bar is when a candle is engulfing future candles like this. You see, the top and bottom of this big candle is actually engulfing a couple of future candlesticks. And when you see this on the market, what you can do is you can simply follow the trend after breaking the high uppers like this. So let's say you look at a daily chart and when I cover a part of a chart like this, you wouldn't know if it's gonna be a pin bar or not in daily, right? Because at this momentum, the market looks to be bearish. But as you saw earlier in daily time frame, there was a previous low around this price level. So you can expect that the price might be supported on this area, but to be honest, you're not quite sure yet. And as you keep looking at the market, the price spiked up once and came back down and has been consolidating for a couple of hours. And when you notice that this is going to be an inside bar on this one hour time frame chart, then you just look forward to placing buy after the market breaks it upwards and you actually place buy here and get all these pips, see? Or before placing buy here based on one hour chart, if you just take a couple of seconds to look at a daily chart at that time, you notice that this day right here was a pin bar, right? So it should make you even more confident to place buy after the inside breakout in one hour time frame so that you get higher probability of winning on this market. So this is just one of the examples how you actually trade with pin bars. So you know, you see pin bars everywhere, 
when you look at a chart in any pairs in any time frames but you cannot just look at them and trade contrarian because the market is not that simple for me i wouldn't place buy or sell just by looking at these pin bars because i need another information to back it up to see whether my trade plan is right or not so I said pin bar is the sign of a trend reverse, but if you trade just by that concept, you're gonna lose all your money because this alone does not give you enough information. You know, this is just one of the information and you need to look for another evidence to back it up why you think the price is reversing at that point. And you can even take another magnifying glass to take further closer look at these candles in five minute time frame. Alright, so this is a 5 minute chart and if you look at this long wick pointing up, this is a candle where you saw it's going to be an inside bar. But uh, what I want you to focus here is, if you look at this candle right here, it's another inside, right? The candle is engulfing future candles. So let's say you're looking at this 5 minute chart like this and let's say you see this engulfing. In this case, which direction you think the trend is going after the break? Upside or downside? Um, look at a trend. Is it bullish or bearish? It's bearish, right? So if I look at a chart real time, one thing I do is I will draw a resistance and support line and follow the break. And as time goes by, the market slightly moved to the downside, slightly broke the support downwards. However, the market moved up a little bit, creating another inside range here. You see, there's another inside bar here. So. When you see this second inside, again, you can expect the market is going to break on either direction. So I will draw another resistance and support line like this and just follow the breakout on this 5 minute chart. So if I have sell here, one of the scenarios would be I will be holding the sell position to expect the price to break this support line downwards and expect to renew the lowest level. Or if the market breaks the resistance line upwards, I will just close the position on a, with you know break even or just a few pips of loss. I will think of those two scenarios. And also, if you have noticed, you can draw a line here. You see, uh, the price has been resisted here twice, and also it's been supported here by a wick earlier. So that also indicates when the market breaks this line upwards, it's gonna move big, right? So when I lose the sell position, the next scenario is going to be when the price breaks this line upwards, I will place buy here. And as you look at the market, the market finally broke this line upwards. And if you remember the one hour chart, later the market also created another inside bar here. And also, even later in daily, it showed a pin bar as a result and the market kept going up. So this is one of the typical examples of my trade strategies. Like when I look for a trade chance, like I keep saying, I always look for a place where I can expect low risk and high return. And by looking at a chart with price actions in multiple time frames, you can identify these spots and be able to make profit constantly. In fact, uh, let me share with you my real trade example. This is a daily chart on gold and I placed buy right here at the tip of the wick pointing down. And if you just look at this daily chart, you might think there's a clear support here and that's why I placed buy. And yes, that's one of the reasons why I placed buy here. But like I explained, I also look at lower time frame chart to make me even more confident on buying here. And let me show you what was coming to my mind. Uh, look at this chart. This is a 5 minute chart and this place right here is exactly where I placed a buy. And if you take even closer look at 1 minute chart, the market has been coming all the way down, you know, a couple of times resisted by the Kijun Sen, but uh, look at this place, uh, there is a double bottom right here. So this is my second confirmation why I placed buy here, you know, the first one was the daily support around this area. and this double bottom is my second confirmation and after I confirm this little pushback and this consecutive thrust up, I placed buy here and had a running profit of like a thousand dollars when I took this screenshot after a few hours later. And in this case, my initial stop loss was right here, uh, just below the double bottom with just about like 7 pips or so, a very small risk but I can still expect a big reward on this uh, daily time frame up to the top of the channel 
and also the exact number of 1500 which is going to be about uh, 360 pips from where I placed a buy so you know the risk to reward ratio on this particular trade is going to be 1 to like uh, 51 or 52 you know I placed a stop loss down here by looking at uh, the one minute chart but I expect a reward in daily time frame also, I was thinking to cut loss as soon as the price breaks the support downwards. So you see how I combine these price actions with multiple time frames and trade with great risk to reward ratio. So like these examples I showed you today in pound yen and gold, make sure you watch this video and understand fully what I say over and over again and try to increase your trade accuracy by the price action trading techniques. The step is going to be first just focus on one single time frame and look back the past chart and try to be able to identify where those pin bars are. Look back in the past and make sure you can identify them instantly and get your eyes used to see the market like that. And once you get used to see it, then take a look closer at the pin bars with lower time frame and see if you can find another price action there and get yourself ready when it happens next time in the future market so that you can place the best position you can imagine with low risk and high return because this is a part of the way to grow your money and be independent as a pro trader. Alright, so on the next video I will continue to be talking about some trade techniques in doji candlesticks. Actually, I was gonna talk about harami candle patterns on the next one but I thought it's better to cover doji first so I just switched the next subject. So after doji, I'll be talking about harami. So again, the next video is going to be on doji trading strategies and how you can actually trade when you see that as I got many many questions about that candle pattern also. So if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're not gonna miss the next one. And also, if you liked today's video, kindly press a good button so that it drives me to make another good trading videos. Alright, thanks so much for watching until the end and see you on the next one. Stay gold. Mata ne.